My name is Naomi and I'm a paramedic in the city of Calgary. I've had numerous work-related injuries and I live with chronic pain. In the last two years alone, I have had two hip surgeries and I'm mere days away from a pretty extensive wrist surgery as well. Despite my health issues, I love being a paramedic and I love contributing to my community. When I'm able to care for myself, I can easily manage my pain and I, you know, I think it's an honor and a privilege to show up for others in their time of need. However, when I'm unable to care for myself, things like sleep deprivation uh, start to add up and I find myself angry and irritable and distracted and, you know, there's even been times where I've considered suicide because it feels that desperate. EMS as a profession is relatively young with no shortage of problems or growing pains and uh, when addressed, each one of these issues is actually an opportunity to improve the lives of paramedics and their families and ultimately you, the communities we serve. The best way I can describe our shift patterns is complete insanity. Um, you know, and I believe it is these outdated and historic shift patterns and shift schedules that are leading contributors to EMS fatigue and burnout. A lot of people don't know this, but during uh, paramedics' long, long shifts, we get no sanctioned breaks. So there's no lunch break, there's no break, you know, sometimes we'll work 13, 14, 15 hours if there's late calls uh, with no breaks, no food, and, you know, that's hard and it wears on you. As I prepare for surgery again, you know, I find myself full of apprehension and, you know, I start to ask, how am I going to go back to the madness that is my work environment and continue to uh, care for myself, care for my patients when I'm also dealing with long, busy days and, you know, no time with my own family and managing my own pain and low staff morale and all these issues that we're having, how am I going to do it? How am I going to show up for someone on the worst day of their lives and really come through for them? What I realized is that in order to do that, I really need to come through for myself first. I'm asking you, the community, to stand with me as I ask for change and choice within my profession. Uh, you know, the choice to still have a family and work the job I love, the choice to maintain a healthy lifestyle and still serve you, the people I love, the choice to reduce rates of addiction, abuse, um, anxiety, depression, and of course suicide among first responders. I'm an artist and as an artist uh, we have a special role involved in social change and that is to create an awareness and to start conversation. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I've created this project in this video not only as a cry for help but as a call to action. I'm calling you, I'm calling the community, I'm calling other EMS workers and first responders, I am calling my employer and the government. You know, maybe you didn't know there was a problem before, but now you do. So what are we going to do about it together? Together I know we can find solutions like shorter shift options and shift patterns and more ambulances and scheduled breaks or you know a variety of things that make a paramedics physical and mental health a priority. So maybe you're gonna write a letter, maybe you're going to share this video, maybe you're the person that knows how to you know change legislation or uh, create regulation around something like population to ambulance ratio uh, and various things that I think need to take place. Uh, what I can do is I can paint. So I'm going to paint and I'm going to paint a lot. I'm going to paint 100 paramedics portraits over 100 days. That's a lot of painting. Uh, that's like three months of my life that I'm dedicating to this project. And each day I'm going to ask you to share, to like, to start conversation. Uh, and to help however you can get this message in the hands of the right people. Uh, each day I'm going to post a video and you can watch the creation process. So be sure to follow me, Naomi Fox, however you like to stay connected, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, whatever. Uh, follow me over 100 days and watch these paintings come to life. I'm excited where this project can take us and, you know, 
I appreciate you. I appreciate your help. I appreciate you sharing my message. Thank you, and I'm excited to see where this project goes.